Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own custom jewelry box. You know those beautiful jewelry boxes that a lot of people give us as present? They are really cool but they are not made custom and they cost a lot of money. That is why it's a good idea to make your own jewelry box when you're giving your Christmas presents. Like you see here, these are some of the tutorials that I'm going to be showing you for uh, Christmas gift ideas and you could expect to see them soon. That is why it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell to be notified when I release those videos. But now what I wanted to tell you is that when you give your Christmas gifts or different other gifts, you will need jewelry boxes and a lot of them. And uh, here is another jewelry box where I put some of my silver jewelry and I use really simple and easy to find stuff, okay? These are some other silver earrings with a smaller box. And uh, of course, uh, you could always make a larger box or even a larger one like this, you see, to fit a lot of stuff in it. Okay, and I'm showing it and how to make a lid to this box. And uh, another tip is that if you use uh, larger sheets of paper, like cardboard and larger sheets of paper, you could make your own drawer organizers uh, with uh, this stuff. This is from A4 paper, 80 grams per square meter. Okay, but if you use cardboard, you could make your own drawer organizers, your own custom size. Okay, so why the other reason that I'm making uh, this jewelry box is that if I have a custom space where I want to put my stuff, like you see, I have this jewelry box here. You see how it looks and I want to fit this box inside. You see, if I want to put this one, it won't work because it's uh, like a taller one. But uh, when I make my own custom box, it fits perfectly inside. And I could make a few more uh, that fit my needs and could be perfectly organized here. So that is why I'm doing this tutorial and I think it will be helpful. Okay, so now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay, so the first thing I'm using here are A4 sheets of paper and they are 100 or 120 grams per square meter. Usually most of the office paper is 80 grams per square meter, but these are 100 or 120. And what else I'm using? is a pencil, a ruler, scissors and some regular paper glue. This is not obligatory, you could do it even without glue. Okay, and I use this one which is from an old notebook battery and I put it inside my boxes as you may see. I'm sure you could buy similar stuff to put inside your boxes and this is not obligatory, you could go without this one if you want and a uh, similar uh, sheet of paper is less than 10 cents in the stores so you could make your own jewelry box for under 10 cents okay so now i'm going to start okay guys so what i'm using here are two squares of this colored paper and they are 15 by 15 centimeters in fact, they're a little bit less than 15 by 15, 14.9, because I wanted to use one A4 sheet for, to make them. And the length of A4 paper is 29.7, so I should divide it in two and make two absolutely the same squares. But to be easier, let's say it's 15 by 15. Okay, so now what I do is that I take one of those squares and I want to find the center, guys. That is why I need my ruler. I go with it like this. 
from end to end okay in one direction don't worry this won't be visible because this will be on the inner side of our box i saw a lot of tutorials where people were folding the paper uh, to find the center but this doesn't work for me i prefer to make it like this with a pencil and a ruler uh, because i don't want this to be fold you see this is the bottom of my box i don't want it folded okay so now what i want to do next is fold it like this so here i already have the center found and i fold my box like this okay you see i want it to be exactly at this point Okay, I'm doing it again. Okay, now I have this. Now guys, in my next step, what I want to do is fold this work here. But in order to fold it, I will measure two centimeters from here, from the edge. You could make your own custom size, okay? So now as I measured it, I will put here like this my rulers and I will fold it at these points. Okay, check if this is here at the edge exactly and if it looks nice and tight. Okay, I will make it from this side. Okay guys, so now I have this and I'm going to take my scissors and what I'm going to do is really easy. I will cut here the edges of my work, these diagonals here. Okay, I'm cutting them. Now, what I do in my next step is fold this here in this direction, open this and fold it to the center. Okay, like this. Open this and fold it to the center. So this one like that and this one to the center. Okay. Now guys, what I do is that I go like this and I put inside this board like this. You see what I'm doing, this like that, okay? And now guys, I have this. Now you could use your glue to glue your work like this, put some glue here, here and here. And what else you could do is cut here some of the leftovers of your A4 sheet and put it here inside. Okay, I will cut a piece and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have my piece cut here. And I will put it inside my box, of course. You could glue it before you put it here. Whatever, I find that there is no need to, to put a glue on it. 
but this is me okay of course you could put glue to your work okay guys and now the lid of my box is ready and now i will make the basis of my box and the basis of my box the, the only difference is that uh, when i put here uh, my ruler i will measure 2.2 centimeters instead of two centimeters and i'm going to show you that okay guys and here i am up to this stage i guess you know how to reach this stage okay and i'm making my the bottom of my box and i will measure here 2.2 okay here and let's say here okay now i will fold it like this in this way the side will be bigger and the bottom will be smaller and both pieces could fit together perfectly okay i'll do off camera those other three sides okay guys and i have it all folded like this and now the familiar steps what i want to do is cut here the edges of my work and the familiar steps that i showed you before fold it to the inner side open it fold it like this to hide them okay like this now do this and close from here and close from here and now you see we have the bottom of our box ready you see it here okay and i have this cut to fit inside okay guys and now we also have the lid that we did before and when we close it this is what i have you see how beautiful it looks and when you put a, a ribbon like this on this one it will be just a great uh, christmas present with the beaded jewelry inside okay you see or this one of course whatever you like okay guys so if you like what i'm showing you here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make my next upcoming tutorials for Christmas gift ideas and you will be able to put them in those beautiful boxes. And if you want to support me, it's a good idea to also like, share and comment. And if you have any questions, ask me. I will try to answer to all of your questions. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. And of course, you could follow me and write me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.